Hi everyone, it's Tuesday, I'm Otis and this is News Round live on CBBC. Coming up in the next few minutes. We find out more about the spookiest night of the year and check out some of your scary costumes. First up today, you might be taking part in some Halloween fun today. I know we are. Maybe you're going trick-or-treating or even carving a pumpkin. But have you ever wondered why we do all that? Well, it turns out there's a very spooky history behind it all. Nina has been finding out more for us. So it's the time of year where things start getting a little spooky and some terrifying traditions begin. Trick-or-treating, dressing up, pumpkin carving and telling scary stories to name a few. But have you ever wondered why? Hmm, well, let me tell you more. We all know what Halloween is, but have you heard of Soane? Well, this is sort of where Halloween came from. It's an old Celtic tradition that is still celebrated around the world today. The Celts believed Soane was the day in the year where the gap between our world and the world of the spirits was very thin, so spirits could easily get through. This eventually joined up with the Christian festival of All Saints Day to create All Hallows Eve. Yes, you've got it, Halloween. Who is making that noise? Well, what about the traditions? Well, trick-or-treating had its beginnings in medieval England. Yep, it began hundreds of years ago when people used to go from door to door offering to pray or sing a song for people's families in exchange for food. But it wasn't called trick-or-treating back in the day, it was called souling. It happened around All Souls Day, a special time where Christians prayed for their loved ones. It carried on through the Victorian era and people think this is how trick-or-treating became a British tradition. So what about creepy costumes? Well, that's another tradition that comes from the Celts. They used to wear spooky outfits to try and scare away any spirits that might be hanging around. Can you pack that in? I'm trying to record a video here. Right, let's crack on. So that's costume sorted, but what about pumpkins? For this, we're going to have to travel to Ireland. There, people didn't start with pumpkins, they actually started with turnips. Spooky faces would be carved up on the turnips to scare away a mythical spirit called Jack that people believed walked around at this time of year. Then in the 19th century, many Irish people moved to America where they found pumpkins easier to grow and that's how we got these. I think I did an all right job, didn't I? What do you reckon? So there you have it, a brief history of Halloween. Thank you very much, Nina. That's your first serving, but don't worry, there is plenty more Halloween fun in a few minutes. But first, some other news, and there was a big event in Paris last night for the Ballon d'Or Awards, which are given to the world's best male and female football players. Etana Bon Matti added to her awards collection, winning the women's title. She helped her club Barcelona win the Women's Champions League and, of course, lifted the World Cup with Spain. Meanwhile, Lionel Messi won the men's trophy. That's his eighth one. Give everyone else a chance. He also helped his country win the World Cup. There are also awards for two of the world's best young players. Erling Haaland was awarded the title of best goal scorer. And England star Jude Bellingham won the world's best young player at the awards. After a brilliant year at German club Borussia Dortmund, England, and now, of course, he's doing amazingly well at Real Madrid. I just wanted to thank everyone who's helped me get to this point, you know, from Birmingham City to Dortmund, now Madrid with the national team. And most importantly, my family, my mum and dad here tonight, my brother back home. And yeah, thank you for all the support. It means a lot. And yeah, more to come. Next up, let's answer one of your big questions. Get the tissues ready, because this one could make you a bit weepy. <laughs> oh, Rohan! Why are you crying? Is the canteen out of jacket potatoes? Did someone tell you that unicorns don't exist? Well, what's wrong then? Well, it all starts underground. Life for an onion is pretty sweet when they're down there in the dirt, except when creepy crawlies come by wanting a nibble. Onions don't like that at all. Luckily, they've got a secret plan to keep the bugs away. When the bugs bite the onion, it releases a chemical which stings really bad, so the creepy crawlies will stay away. 
this chemical is called <gasps> synpropanethyl oxide. Try saying that ten times fast. When we cut into onions to cook them, the same chemical is released into the air. When it reaches your eyes, it makes them sting. We cry because our eyes are trying to flush the chemical out of our bodies so that the pain stops. But how can we cook with onions without crying into our tea? Well, here's a few tips. Try putting your onion in the fridge before you want to cut it. When it's cold, it takes longer for the chemical reaction to happen. 30 minutes should do it. Put a silver spoon in your mouth. When the chemical gets to the spoon, it binds with the metal before it reaches your eyes. Or wear some very cool goggles like me. Interesting stuff. Cheers, Haley. Next, US President Joe Biden and his wife, First Lady Dr. Jill Biden, hosted Halloween at the White House last night. The president's home was decked out with pumpkins, witches and spooky music was played for the kids invited to take part. It's an almost 100-year-old tradition and this year the focus was on books, with the White House calling it a Halloween celebration. So, trick or treaters were given books as well as sweets. Now, Halloween means spooky costumes, parties and a bit of trick-or-treating. So, over on the Newtown website, we asked you what you were dressing up as this year. Pink Magic Kitten says they're going as a witch. Nice. Diamond Apple 24 is going Halloween show jumping, dressed as a vampire bat. Another news rounder is dressing up as a creepy doll with their friend, and another friend is going to be the doll master. And Eve says she and her friend are going as the black and white swan from the ballet show. Now, some of you have sent us your pics of your Halloween costumes and displays too. Let's take a look at them. so much for sending those photos in they were amazing i particularly loved the grinch and grim reaper anyway that's just about all we've got time for today if you're trick-or-treating tonight have fun hopefully you get more treats than tricks we'll be back tomorrow take care see you later bye bye <laughs>